Charlie is the newest chromatic brawler coming to the game, which means she will be available in the next season's Brawl Pass. She is the first brawler in the new Bizarre Circus trio, and she performs by using her hair as a type of yo-yo. This has a lot to do with the fact that she is obsessed with spiders, and her hair is very similar to the silk spun by a spider. And based on this rendition of the Itsy Bitsy Spider for her description, she also steals people's money during her act. She distracts the crowd with her mesmerizing yo-yo hair and then makes off with their stuff while they're hypnotized. Sounds like a real shady circus. Hush, little baby. Your French toast. My yo-yo brings all the pain to your face. Her title is, is in your head. Just like the Code Kairos jingle. K-A-I-R-O-S. Code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. Make sure you use it before you buy the next Brawl Pass. Just kidding. This is actually a mistake. Once she's released, it'll be the amazing. Charlie's main attack is yo-yo. Her yo-yo hair is shot forward and then returns to her after it hits an enemy, a wall, or just reaches max distance. Since it comes back after it hitting an enemy, Enemy, it can't shoot through enemies unless the yo-yo is on its way back. Then it will go through any number of targets. I also noticed that her yo-yo returns slightly faster if you hit an enemy with it instead of just hitting the wall or nothing at all. So her attack may seem sort of weak, but if she's close to enemies, she can rack up some serious damage by rapidly bouncing her yo-yo off them. Charlie's super is a cocoon. She fires a cocoon made out of spider silk and whoever she hits with it will get trapped inside of a cocoon. While inside the cocoon, it's basically as if the enemy isn't in the game. They can't move, they can't attack, they can't charge our super, or even take damage. Now this cocoon has a total of 8,400 health and loses 10% of it every second, which means that it can hold a brawler up to 10 seconds. That being said, the teammates of whoever is trapped in the cocoon can use their attacks to deal damage to it in order to break it open faster. Now, unlike Cordelius' super, Doug's super, and many other supers in the game, Charlie's super cannot be shot through walls, and it will be totally wasted if you shoot it into a wall or miss. Charlie's first gadget is spiders. She instantly spawns three spiders around her like Terra's shadow, that will chase and attack the nearest brawler. Now their health slowly depletes every second, very similar to Eve's hatchlings, so you don't want to spawn them from too far away. Something we haven't seen in the game yet though is how they attack. When the spiders get close to an enemy, they actually start to dash through them, very similar to Mortis's main attack. This only happens every two seconds though, so the damage isn't as consistent as Terra's shadows. Each dash deals 800 damage, which can make for up to a total of 2,400 damage every two seconds if all three spiders are attacking the same target. It's not bad. It's mostly going to be useful against stationary targets like the high safe. Charlie's second gadget is personal space. She wraps herself in a cocoon similar to the one that she traps enemies in. Now enemies can deal damage to this cocoon as well, and once the cocoon breaks open, 50% of her total health will be restored. Not 50% of her current health when she activates the gadget, her total health. This cocoon also has a much higher health decay rate and only lasts for five seconds if left untouched instead of 10. It's kind of like Sandy's sleepy gadget, except that she's invulnerable to damage during it. Charlie's first star power is digestive. If an enemy gets trapped inside of a cocoon, this star power will take away half of their health when they break out. Now, unlike Charlie's second gadget, it is half of the health that they had when they entered the cocoon, not half of their max health, so it will never, never kill somebody. The damage is actually slightly rounded up, so like I said, you can't kill a brawler with this ability, and the chances of you hitting a brawler with one HP with the super are very, very low, so yeah, it does have the potential to do a lot of damage though. Charlie's second star power is slimy. Each of Charlie's supers will leave a trail of slime behind them that will remain on the map for five seconds. This slime trail simply slows all enemies that walk over it until they get off of it or until it disappears. The slime trail will appear even if you completely miss the super, so this star power will make sure you always get value out of your super. Charlie's hypercharge is pestilence. Any cocoon that spawns from Charlie's super while she's hypercharged will also spawn three spiders next to it that are exactly the same as the spiders that spawn from her gadget. And if you think instantly spawning three more spiders with her gadget is OP, you are absolutely correct, which is why you actually can't do that. Charlie can only have a maximum of three spiders on the map at once, and if more spawn by her gadget or another super, then the first three spiders will disappear. Also, the spiders will still spawn even if you don't hit anything with her super, which is good. On top of this ability, Charlie's hypercharge also gives her a 30% speed buff, damage buff, and a 10% shield. Now we're gonna compare Charlie against all of the brawlers in the game using the Brawl Stars Olympics. We're gonna start with her worst test, make our way up to her best test, and then we'll talk about how strong I think she's going to be. First up is the three attack kill test. Charlie doesn't have any ability that increases the damage from her attacks, and each of her attacks only deals 1,600 damage per hit. Three hits total makes 
takes 4,800 damage. That puts her in 71st place and it's really not very good. Although this isn't a great reflection of her actual attack damage because she only has one ammo and she can reload it way faster than most brawlers. Next is the super damage test. Now, Charlie's super by itself doesn't actually deal any damage at all. Yes, it is possible for her to deal some damage with her star power, but either way, she ties with 14 other brawlers for 59th place. Next is the one second DPS test. Charlie spawns some spiders who are able to deal damage once in the span of one second. Meanwhile, Charlie lands two attacks, which adds up to 5,600 damage. So she gets 59th place and isn't really that great at quick burst damage, at least not just one second of damage. Next is the area test. Both Charlie's attack and super have the same length and width, so they each break 18 skulls. Now, she doesn't get any help from her gadgets, so she breaks a total of 36 skulls. That puts her in 58th place and suggests she's probably not going to be the best at controlling areas. Next, we have the race test. Charlie has a normal movement speed. She doesn't have any abilities to boost her forward or make her any faster, so she ties with 27 other ballers for 45th place. Next is the super range test. Now, it looks to me like the reticle for Charlie's super is just a hair longer than the actual distance the projectile travels. Either way, it stresses across nine tiles, so she ties with Otis, Amber, and Sam for 43rd place in the super range test. Next is the swarm test. By hitting the last bot in each row and quickly moving behind the rest, her yo-yo destroys all of the bots in a row with only one ammo. Now, I could have shot it past all of the bots in a row, but since it returns faster after hitting an enemy, this was the fastest way. She requires 5.4 seconds to completely take out the swarm. This puts her in 37th place. We still have a lot of tests to cover, and Charlie Charlie is better than half of the brawlers in each of them. Next is the splash test. Even though Charlie can only hit one target with her yo-yo on the way out, she's able to hit the three surrounding boxes on the way back for a total of four boxes at a time. She quickly takes out the boxes four by four and finishes in 11.9 seconds, which puts her in 33rd place. Next is the attack range test. Just like her super, Charlie's main attack is also nine tiles long, but will obviously be cut shorter if it hits a target before then. She ties with Carl, Meg, Colette, Pam, Surge, Willow, and Bo for 29th place. And like I said, she has the exact same attack range as Carl, so that gives you a good idea. Next is the supercharge test. Charlie has to hit five attacks with her main attack in order to charge her super, which is actually a lot if you can't hit multiple targets with it. But at point blank range, it only takes her 1.8 seconds to fully charge her super. So she ties with Pearl, Lola, and Daryl for 29th place. Next is the assassin test. And Charlie's spiders are able to attack the boss twice in three seconds, which adds up to 4,800 damage just from them. Then she's able to hit the boss seven times with her main attack in those three seconds. So she deals a total of 16,000 damage. And that puts her in 22nd place, all without the use of her super, which is not too bad for a brawler with only one ammo, and like I said, not a super. Next is the auto-aim test. Charlie's able to successfully auto-aim at Nita from six tiles away, which is actually kind of insane. If her target only has to be within six tiles in order for her to hit them with her auto-aim, her yo-yo is going to be dealing damage like crazy in a lot of situations. So she has the 18th best auto-aimed attack in the game. Next, we have the boss test. Now, I actually did this test two times because using her cocoon would actually eliminate the boss's health by half thanks to her first star power. But it turns out that by not using Charlie Super, she can complete this fat test faster by only one second. She's able to defeat the boss in 20 seconds flat and gets ninth place, which is very impressive, especially when you consider the fact that she didn't even use her super to eliminate the boss's health by half. Next is the survival test. Charlie only has 6,600 total health, which isn't much, but she gets a lot of help from her second gadget in this test. Not only does she get half her total health back every time she uses it, but the cocoon themselves tank a little bit of extra damage for her before they break open. Charlie survives for 57.2 seconds and gets eighth place. Next, we have the box test. Charlie's spiders won't attack boxes, but since there aren't any clusters with more than four boxes in this test, she's able to hit all of the boxes in each group at the same time. Charlie breaks open the last box in 20.1 seconds, and she actually gets second place overall. She's going to be very good at ramping up damage in Solo Showdown because of this. And finally, we have the reload test. Now, Charlie can actually unload and reload 10 shots in just 4.1 seconds if she's standing right next to the enemy. That means that she's able to unload and reload one ammo in just 0.4 seconds. That gives her the second fastest reload speed in the game, just slightly slower than Amber. And 
we all know that Amber's ammo is all weird because technically she has like 20 ammo and she, anyway, it's not important. What is important is that she has massive potential for being able to just spam that attack. But if you are curious about what her like normal reload speed is, I did test this where she's able to reload 10 shots at max distance. That takes 14.5 seconds, which means that she would have tied with Byron for 13th place. It's very similar to Byron's. So Charlie's weird and fun, but how strong is she going to be in each of the modes? For gem grab, I'm putting her in the S tier. I actually thought Charlie already looked really good for gem grab, and then I noticed that her super makes enemies drop their gems. You don't even have to kill them. You just hit a gem carrier, and you have 10 seconds to go in and grab all the gems and run away. It's going to be hard enough for an enemy to survive after being put in a cocoon, but just being able to pick up their gems is hilarious. Definitely S tier for gem grab. Next, we have brawl ball, and being able to shoot the brawl ball without wasting any ammo is already a really big advantage, but her super is going to make her impossible to score on without a teammate nearby, and it's also going to be really good at removing an enemy just trying to block her shots at the, at the goal. Like, you just take somebody out, and then you have 10 seconds to take out their opponents and score a goal. Like, 10 seconds is a long time. Granted, the teammates will then be attacking the cocoon and, you know, but that's the thing. They're going to be wasting their ammo trying to do that. S tier for Brawl Ball as well. Next, we have Heist, where I think she's going to be A tier. While Charlie's super doesn't actually deal any damage to the safe, I think that her main attack is all she needs to be a good Heist Brawler. Just think about all the times when you're playing Heist with Carl, and there happens to be a wall right next to the safe. Carl can spam that attack like crazy, and she doesn't even need a wall to make that happen. She can deal 1,600 damage, two and a half times every single second. It's just, just insane. Also, based off of how Terra's shadows can shred the safe, Charlie spiders are gonna do really well there too. I think the A tier, maybe even S tier for high. So we'll go with A tier for now though. As for Wipeout and Bounty, I'm gonna go with B tier. Charlie's super is good enough to make her at least decent in any game mode, but Wipeout will be one of her worst modes. There are a lot of long range brawlers in this mode that like this type of brawler just isn't great against. Carl can do well because he actually can dash in on people and use the super to shield and to the bunch of damage. She doesn't have that, and she doesn't quite have the range to hold her own against them. But she's good no matter what, so I think B tier makes a lot of sense for her. As for Hot Zone, we're going to go with A tier. This game mode is going to be the best for Charlie's second gadget, because even though she's inside the cocoon while she's healing, she still scores points while she's in the zone. So she's basically like, you know, immune to taking damage for a couple of seconds, then restores her health, and she's still getting points. It's crazy. On the flip side, an enemy on in the zone that is trapped in the cocoon probably isn't going to stay in it for very long, and they don't get to heal when they come back. In fact, if she's using her first star power, then they will lose half their health. Even her second star power, though, is going to be pretty good at keeping enemies out of the zone since the slime trail can actually go across the whole zone or across the zone. Next, we have Knockout, which I'm going to go with B tier. This is another game mode with lots of long range brawlers. And even if Charlie hits a brawler from a long range with her super, it'll be quickly destroyed by their teammates. She might be a little bit more effective once the smoke rolls in a little bit, but she's just overall good enough that I think she still deserves B tier. As for Solo Showdown, we're going with the S tier. Charlie's super is going to help her win every single 1v1 situation like it, it doesn't matter the brawler she just puts him in a cocoon and she can escape she can wait till they pop out and then do a bunch of damage to them she can let the smoke roll in on them and then other enemies are going to swarm around them like that, that person is going to be a sitting duck right it's going to prevent brawlers from sneaking up on her and at the same time it's going to make them really easy to kill in fact a lot of the time she probably won't even have to kill enemies very much because she can just like take them out of the game for quick 10 seconds, right? S tier for solo showdown as well. And for duo showdown, I'm gonna go with the A tier. Charlie will be good in duo showdown for the same reasons that she's good in solo showdown, but I don't think the S tier in this mode makes a lot of sense because they will at least have one teammate to be able to help them get out of the cocoon. Still though, really good brawler, A tier for sure. We're gonna have to wait till Charlie's actually released to really find out how strong her super is going to be. But while you're listening to all her pins and voice lines, why don't you drop a comment in the section below letting me know what you think of her. Subscribe for more, enjoy these voice lines. Spin, swing, and circus bling. Let the carnival of carnage begin. Web of wonder, like a papillon. Hush, little baby. Ta-da! Showstopper! Calme-toi. Tais-toi. Tais-toi. I'll come back just like a yo-yo. Like a sad clown without a circus. Messing with a yo-yo as it's ups and downs. Oh, pâtisserie of misery. Au revoir. Oh, je suis cramé. Oh, mon Dieu. Excuse-moi. It will take more than that. Oh, so you want to play rough? This puts a new spin on things. Oh, la la. Espèce de ouf. Aïe. Aïe, 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 aïe. My yo-yo brings all the pain to your face. It's my yo-yo. You better believe it. I stole your heart. 
Literally. Très bien. I killed again. Your French toast. Et voilà. Et voilà. La 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 la. Circus crown, not clown. Spin when you're winning. My life is a circus and I love it. Magnifique. What a carnival of clowns. Le freak, c'est chic. Straight from the streets. With zero defeat, distract and disarm. You can't resist my charm. Watch the string. I'll take your bling. 